What's pivoty 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 poppin', my guys? Today we're going to be downloading Project M, homebrew version. This is a tutorial, and I will guide you step by step on how to do it. So, some stuff to know before downloading Project M um, for homebrew is that the Wii can only take SD cards up to 2 gigabytes and can take SDHC cards up to 32 gigabytes. So you should definitely see um, what type of SD card you have. I have an SDHC card that's 32 gigabytes because it, you know, I can get to keep everything on one SD card and don't have to change it out. Super simple and something for Brawl also. Brawl can only read SD cards um, up to two gigabytes because of its age. So if you try anything above two gigabytes, it will not work. That's just something for you to know. So here we go. We're going to get right into it. <clears throat> First of all, we're going to want to download Project M. So you go to look up Project M download. And you see it right here. PMUNofficial.com. So because the developers of Project M um, ceased to update the game and they're working on other stuff now, you have to download it off of a mirror, seen by unofficial. You go down here, and it says Project M Lightning Mirror, Hackless Zip, and Homebrew, homebrew Zip. So we're going to want to download the Homebrew Zip. I've already downloaded the Homebrew Zip, um, so I'm not going to be doing it today. But all you need to do is just click this and get it. And now you have to go into your folders. You'll see it in downloads. You'll see this. It might have like a WinZip icon right next to it if you have WinZip. But basically what you have to do is unzip the file. Personally, I like to use 7-Zip instead of WinZip because for WinZip, after a certain amount of time, you have to pay, but you don't have to pay with 7-Zip. It's very nice. So you just press extract files um, and please extract it to download so it's super easy to see or somewhere where um, you think it's easy, and you'll get this folder, Project M Homebrew 3.6-MF. Um, and so, before we get into actually moving it to the SD card, you should have the apps folder on your SD card, because you're on um, Homebrew, so you probably already have it. And you're going to get these later. I just have the games folder, not 64 saves and all this stuff, because I... Um, also run different stuff on Homebrew, such as um, Not64, which is an N64 emulator, and I'm blanking out, Nintendo Don't, which is also a GameCube emulator. So, you want to go into here, open this up, so you open up Project M Homebrew, open up Homebrew, you see apps, codes, Project M, everything. Now what you have to do, you have to select it all, and drag it to the root of your SD card, which is just right here. Copy to SDHC E in my case. Let go of that. Now it'll copy. And then we wait. We have like 10 seconds until we're done. And also a common problem is that when you boot up Project M, it may take you back to the Wii home screen, which I actually had this problem a few minutes ago because um, I did the method wrong. But what you have to do is you have to drag these to the root of your SD card. You can't drag like Project M Homebrew or just Homebrew. You have to drag the insides of it, apps, codes, Project M, downloads, shortcut, and game config. I'm not sure if you need to do download shortcut, but I do it anyways because it's just, why not? So then you'll see that it, actually sorts everything into your apps folder that you already have. So see Project M, put it into your codes folder. You'll see this, rsbe01.gct. And you'll see the Project M folder, which has everything that you need. Now, that's, that's kind of it. Lastly, I'm going to cover what you need uh, to do with your Wii in order to run Project M. <clears throat> First, you must have a copy of Smash Brawl. That is completely necessary to run Project M because, after all, it is a big Brawl mod. <clears throat> Second, you need to delete 
any custom stages off of Brawl. This includes the three stages that actually come with Brawl. Um, you'll see three already made custom stages in the stage builder section. Delete those. And lastly, have no GameCube memory cards in your Wii. I don't know why. Project M just doesn't accept it. And that's really it. Now, let's go over to the Wii, plug it in, and see how things go. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, here we are. The Wii is up and uh, running and ready and everything. So now we are going to be um, checking to see if this works. Um, which, if we followed everything correctly, it should. Make sure you have Brawl inside the Wii. Um, no memory cards inside the Wii either. Let me take mine out real quick. And now all you gotta do is go to the Homebrew channel and press start. Wait for it to load a bit. And now, here we are. You should see Project M right here. And if you don't, you may be loading from somewhere different. So, if you're navigating um, the Homebrew menu with a Wii Remote, then just press 1 and you'll see all of your um, places you can load from. I load from the internal SD slot, which is just using an SD card like the tutorial went through, but you can also load it through a USB device and other things. Uh, you just press OK, it'll go away for a sec, then I'll come back. Same thing can happen with pressing X on a GameCube controller, and see it comes back. OK, so now you go to Project M, and you press Load, and then you press play. I'm not sure if you need to press update considering that Project M is like discontinued, but I mean you could try if you want, but you just press play, you wait a bit for the game to actually load, and you should see this. Project M, please secure your wrist strap to safely contain hype. Press A, And then, if that wasn't enough of a clue, you'll see um, this starting screen, actually. As you can see, it's actually different from the one in the ball. Pretty cool, but like, you can watch that on your own time. And here we are, Project M. You'll see everything. Like, um, yeah, I don't think there's much more to cover. See, there's Roy and everything. There's, um, yeah, I guess. I don't see Pichu on here, but you know what? Whatever. I don't think he's supposed to be in Project M. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all in the next tutorial. Okay, see you guys.